Hi there. Welcome to another one of my videos, Magnum BI at your service. <laughs> now today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to deal with null values. And so what I've done here is I've created this very simple data set, uh, which consists of grocery store items and its respective prices. And the purpose, uh, the purpose behind this is so that I can uh, show you guys how to replace these this null value here and these blank values here. And so to do that, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this null value. To do that, I'm going to click on Analysis and click on Create Calculated Field. And I'm going to title it Replacing Null Values. Okay. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the if null function. It's the same uh, if uh, it's the same thing as the if null function in, in Excel. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the item dimension here. So there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a string. So I, I can replace it with NA. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to go ahead and use I don't know or IDK. There we go. As I don't know what grocery store item costs $13.45, right? So that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to click Apply, hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag the dimension here. And there we go. It's replaced this null value with IDK. Okay, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace these two blank values. So to do that, I'm going to go back to analysis, create another calcul calculated field. I'm going to go ahead and title this replacing blank values with zero. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the ZN function. So I'm simply just going to go ahead and yeah, type ZN. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and this is the price column right here, or the price. So... I'm just going to go ahead and, and there we go, populate. It, it auto-populates. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So now when I drag it over here, there we go. It replaces blank values with a zero. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, this right here. And there we go. Oh, what, what happened here? Whoops. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, what happened? There we go. Okay, now it's now it's visible. Okay, great. Okay, and uh, that's ideal like null values on top. Well, uh, the last thing I'd like to show you is uh, replacing a blank value with something else other than zero. So if you wanted to go ahead, so the, the original blank values were um, for chocolate, for peanuts, right? So if you want to go ahead and assign a price point of five dollars because you know that's how much that's how much both the items cost, you can simply. So let me go ahead and uh, get the price column back here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Okay. You can see all you have to do is just right click, click format, go to fields, click on uh, this field here, and then under special values, this is where you can go ahead and replace a null value with something else. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in $5, and there we go. It replaces the blank values with $5. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, was the ZN function? I covered it, but I didn't explain what it is and uh, what the meaning, what it means. So the ZN function stands for zero to null function. So all it does is that it takes blank values and it re or null values and it replaces it with zero. That's all it does. Let me go ahead and show show this to you again. So. Uh, let me see. Show this to you here. There we go. So it just replaces blank values or null values with zero. That's all the, the zero to null function does. So want to end it on that note. And that concludes my video on dealing with null values. I hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to leave a comment below and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.